All right, good day everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve logarithmic equations. And I have three examples that I'm going to demonstrate for you in this video, for which I'm assuring you that if you follow me carefully to the end of this video, you're going to enjoy yourself, you're going to gain knowledge of solving logarithmic equations. Now, let's start with example number one. Okay? Let's start with example number one. Don't forget that there is a particular law of logarithm that says that if you have a value multiplying log of x, take for instance, into base a, it can still be written as log, everything can still be written as log of x raised to the value into base a. So that here, 6 log x plus 4 into base a can still be written as log of x plus 4 everything into bracket raised to power 6 okay into base 10 equal to log 64 into base 10 as we just have it there okay so this can cancel this and we are left with we are left with x plus 4, everything raised to power 6, equal to 64. Okay? But you know that 64 can be expressed in powers of uh, 2. 64 can be expressed in powers of 2 as to achieve, as to achieve 2 raised to power 6. And why do I choose 64? I like just to express 64 in powers of 2 as to achieve 2 raised to power 6 because I want to achieve the same power at this side just as this is having powers of 6 okay? so that this will imply that x plus 4 okay, equal to 2 raised to power 6 so x plus 4 raised to power 6 equal to 2 raised to power 6 and this power can cancel this power. That we are left with x plus 4 equal to 2. Okay? We are left with x plus 4 equal to 2. So therefore, x is equal to minus 2. x is equal to minus 2. Because if you, if you make x the subject, the subject of formula, you take minus, plus 4 from here to the other side, that will be minus 4. A minus 4 plus 2, that will give you minus, minus 2. Okay? Now, and that is that about example 1. Let's see example 2. Let's see example 2. Example 2 is stated as the logarithm of x into base 10 plus the logarithm of x plus 3 into base 10. Everything equal to 1. We want to express this so that we will express it to be a log of a number into base 10. Okay? But you know that there is a particular law that says that log of a number into the same number or log, log of a value into the same value into the base of the same value we give you 1. So we want to choose log of a number into base 10 now. That will give you 1. And that can only be logarithm of 10 into base 10. Okay? Which is equal to 1. So we want to replace this by 1. Let's replace this by 1 so that we have the next step to be log x into base 10 plus log x plus 3 into base 10 equal to log 10 into base 10. Now, having thought that we are good to go and apply the law of logarithm that has to do with the sum of two or more logarithm of common base, okay? So that log into base 10, then we take the product of this and this. Log into base 10 of x multiply by x plus 3 okay 
everything in the brackets, okay, equal to log 10 into base 10. And so therefore, log 10 we can't, I mean log into base 10 we can't log into base 10. We are left with, so that we are left with x into brackets x plus 3, okay, equal to 10. And if you do, now if you expand this bracket, it will give you x times x will be x squared. x times 3 will be 3x. So x squared plus 3x equal to 10. So that if you rearrange it, this is a quadratic equation. You can rearrange it now to imply that x squared plus 3x minus 10 equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. Which method do we apply? Can we factorize this equation? Let's look at factorization method. Okay? Can we factorize it? So let's look at the factors of minus 10 or negative 10. Now when added together, we give us positive 10. Okay? We have 2 and 5. Of course, minus 2 times 5 will give us what? Negative 10. And at the same time, minus 2 plus 5 will give us positive 3. So therefore, minus 2 and 5 are the factors we are looking for. So down our brackets. Okay? Then the variable. Then we share the, uh, what do you call it? The factors into the bracket. So that we have minus 2 here and plus 5 here. It doesn't matter the other. You can put plus 5 here and put minus 2 the other, in the other bracket. So, you will still get your answer correct. Okay? Now, this implies that x minus 2 equal to equal to 0 or x plus 5 equal to 0. And what does that tell you? It tells you that x equal to x is equal to 2 or x is equal to minus 5. And this is our final answer as per question number 2. Okay? Now let's look for how to go about question number 3. That is example number 3. Example Roman figure 3 which is stated as logarithm of 3x minus 1 into base 10 minus logarithm of 3x minus 2 into base 10 everything equals to 1 don't forget this one can still be written as what log since we our target is to get the same I mean log into the same base as we have it here. so this thing can be this one can still be written as log into base 10 of 10 okay so that this equation will implies that it we implies that logarithm of two three x minus one into base ten minus logarithm of three x minus two into base ten equal to log ten into base ten. The law of logarithm that has to do with subtractions of logarithm of the same base. We have this to imply that log into base 10 of 3x minus 1, okay, 3x minus 1 divided by, divided by 3x minus 2, okay, everything in the brackets. Everything in the brackets equal to log 10 into base 10. So that log into base 10 will cancel log into base 10. And and we are left with we are left with 3x minus 1 all over 3 
x minus 2, everything equal to 10. Okay? Everything equal to 10. So that when you do cross multiplication, you have 3x, you have 3x minus 1 equal to 10 into bracket 3x minus 2. Okay? So that when you expand this bracket, you have 3x minus 1 equal to 30x minus 20. And when you collect the like terms, you have 3x minus 30x equal to minus 20 plus 1. Okay? Equal to minus 20 plus 1. So that if you subtract this from this, then we give, that will give you minus 27x. Okay? Equal to minus 19. Okay? So that if you divide both sides by minus 27, as to make as the subject of formula, minus 27. Minus 27 will cancel minus 27. You are left with x equal to 19 all over 27. Okay? Because minus sign will cancel minus sign. Yeah. And that is the final answer. Thank you so much.